So for those that don't know, your girl Tasha K unfortunately, quote, lost that stupid lawsuit that should have never happened. The one with Cardi B, you know, her crying about, oh, somebody said something about me on the Internet. Well, all she does is troll the Internet and talk a bunch of crap about people. But for some reason, I, I don't know, I, maybe some people are going to sue Cardi B for the stuff that she says about them next. You know, maybe we could just change the name of USA to sue your A, right? So. Here's what your girl Tasha K had to say about all of the foolishness that's going on, whether or not she really has a GoFundMe where she's asking fans for money to pay for her legal bills, which is a rumor out there. A lot of GoFundMe started popping up. I don't know if those are Cardi B fans or haters, weirdos, you know, people making fake GoFundMes and whatnot. We're going to get into that. We're also going to talk about the show that she has coming up tonight at 7 o'clock today, Wednesday, January 26th of 2022, and whatever else that she posted on social media. Shout out to Tasha K. Click the thumbs up button. Subscribe. Subscribe, choose all notifications. Like I said, I don't think that Tasha should have been sued. I don't think that Cardi should be sued and that quote MAGA case. And that's that's white folks that are suing Cardi B. So good luck with that, Cardi. Good luck. You might lose $20 million yourself. You never know. But anyways, and, and Henny might lose everything too. You know? She Cardi might have to file for bankruptcy. Everybody like, is Tasha Gay gonna file for bankruptcy? She can't in this particular case. Allegedly, according to what people were saying, for whatever reason, allegedly, but anyways. Here's what your girl Tasha K had to say on Instagram. Never underestimate black girl magic. We are resilient. I will be making my first and only statement about the case Wednesday, January 26th of 2022 at 7 p.m. Eastern time on my at YouTube channel. Wiley Show posted a picture of Tasha and her husband and it says power couple at Unwind with Tasha K. All about the tea says make sure you tune in at Unwind with Tasha K YouTube on Wednesday. This will be an epic live. Somebody named Innocence Ray says, just showing love to Tasha K. Girl, I need my hat. I don't know what that means. Somebody let me know in the comment section. Stay strong. Been watching reruns. Can't wait to see you back on Wednesday at Unwind with Tasha K. Somebody named Kevin Sutherland X says, we'll be good to hear your side of this. Keep being you at Tasha K with a red heart emoji and a 100 emoji. Tasha K said this about GoFundMe. I do not have any GoFundMe or fundraiser accounts. Please report them if you see them. See y'all tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern for my first and only statement on my YouTube channel about this case. See y'all tonight. I forgot to thank all of the viewers for all of your support. In this business, <laughs> this is the part of the protocol. Everyone in my seat has been through this, and this ain't the last. This comes with the territory. See y'all Friday. It's long overdue. No, 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 all of us don't see that shit. Anyway, she said, my husband and attorneys and I fought really hard. I want to thank them for their long hours and sleepless nights. Winos, it's only up from here. See y'all in a few days with a glasses toasting emoji, a praying hands emoji, a yellow Simpson one. Back to work. Hashtag unwind with Taja K. Hashtag now I gotta go. Bye. Hold on, let me say it in Cardi B's voice. Now I gotta go. Bye. You know what I'm saying? Listen. Let me let me finish this video. Let, let me do what I got to do on this. Let me put my stink on it. All right, Cardi. I'm going to let you go ahead and finish this video since you're here. Go ahead and do your thing, Ma. You know, and I, 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 you stop suing people. Your punk ass is being sued, too. Okay? Don't every Listen, everybody doesn't need to go through a lawsuit. You know, everybody doesn't need to be being sued, Cardi. Okay, just because you can doesn't mean you should. Just because your money's as long as your pretty legs doesn't mean you should be out there uh, participating in lawsuits and shit. How are you going to be a gangster but sue people? You said that you were like the Powerpuff girl, the one in the green. And if you really are a Powerpuff gangster, Powerpuff gangsters don't sue people. Okay, that's just not how things work. How are you going to go from the Sopranos to the Sopranos? That shit doesn't make any sense, Heffel. So uh, stop suing people out here. You ain't shit. Your feet stink. But I love you, and I'll be over at your OnlyFans at the end of this video and on your Instagram with that lotion so I can whack to you for a few hours until Tasha K comes on. And I'm going to put the lotion down. I'm going to go check out Tasha K's live, and then I'm going to come back with the lotion to your Instagram and, and, and to your OnlyFans and shit, but that ain't none of y'all business. But anyways, go ahead and finish out the video, Cardi. Ew, you nasty, but I kind of like that shit. Listen, y'all, it's your girl Cardi B. Well, not really. It's Cardi P, the Cardi parody, you know what I'm saying? And, um... This guy's a loser. That's number one. He be talking crazy reckless. But not so reckless that I want to sue him. But sometimes I want to punch him in the jaw. Anyways, he be talking some crazy shit sometimes, don't he? Shit, damn. But anyways, I look sexy as hell in this photo, don't I? Yes, I do. Anyway, shout out to Meat Magazine. Because he always keeps it 100. If he's mad at me, if he's happy with me, 
If he wants to be friends, or he wants to be more than enemies today. If I piss him off, or he's showing love, he keeps it 100. That's why I love you. But anyways, make sure y'all click the thumbs up button, subscribe, choose all notifications. That way you'll be notified when new stuff gets posted to let us know that you listen all the way into the end of the video. The secret password to see in the comment section is going up. Why going up? Because Cardi B's year is 2022. Tasha K's year is 2022. Meat Magazine's year is 2022. We all getting new money. We all gonna get fresh new clothes. We all gonna be looking fly as shit. We all gonna be happy. Our family's gonna be taken care of. And everything's gonna be alright with all of us. It's gonna be a good year for all of us. I'm done. Okay, Cardi, I got something to say. No, shut up. I just put my stink on it. Leave it the way it is. Don't try to clean it up. Don't try to do nothing. No, Cardi, listen. I got to finish all the video because I got something to say. Well, hurry the hell up. Okay. Are y'all going to be listening to Tasha K's show or are y'all not going to be tuning in at 7 p.m. Eastern time? And for those that don't know, if you're in California, that would be 4 p.m. your time. If you're in Mountain Time, I can't remember. And I can't remember what the other one's called. Is it Central Time? Anyway, listen. Let's see. Pacific, not specific. Pacific, Eastern, Mountain, Central. Damn it. Anyways, let me know what y'all think about it below. Click the thumbs up button. Subscribe. Choose all notifications. The links to the other two channels are in the description box. If you don't know what to say in the comment section, just say hi. Shout out to Cardi B. Cardi B, the only reason why I be going hard sometime when it comes to you just because I love you and I want to see you do your best. I, I, I said, I knew that you were going to be the chick who went from a roach to a butterfly, as you worded it. And the reason why I knew that, listen, if you go back to 2015, I was talking about how big you were going to be, Cardi. Because I knew that you were going to be something. I knew that you were special, and I know a star when I see one. Also, I'm a, I'm a member of the Illuminati, but that ain't none of y'all business. But long story short, I prophesied... I prophesied your career before you got your record deal. I prophesied the fact that you would be the face of female rap. I prophesied your movie career. I said that all of this shit was going to happen. I believed in you when nobody believed in you. I knew you, you were going to be great. But this is something that I just I just can't agree with. And one of the reasons why is because I don't want that negative energy to come back to you. I love you, Cardi. And that's why I talk about you the way that I do. Remember, bitch, I was your biggest fan if we take it back to 2015. You get on my nerves now that we got to know you better. But I'm still rocking with you. But don't be out here suing people, you heard. Because if you do, then I'm going to be making videos saying that I disagree with it. There's no reason <laughs> for you to be suing people for saying a a goddamn thing on the internet considering the fact that you're one of the <laughs> you're like the biggest of all of the celebrity trolls as far as somebody who's not a podcaster a talk show host or anything like that somebody who's a celebrity celebrity <laughs> in the traditional sense you are the biggest troll out of all the celebrities you're one of the only ones that will sit there and roast with people you're one of the only ones even professional comedians a lot of times won't do that shit like responding is not below you you respond to a lot of bullshit. What you should stick to is talking about all of the positive things that people say and think about you. Those are the people you need to re be responding to. Leave these people alone that are saying bad things about you. Act like they don't exist. Because the only thing you're going to do is make things worse. Because the faceless trolls, the nameless trolls, the people who don't have anything to lose, the people who don't have businesses, not the people who are, are blogs newscasters journalist Tasha K is a journalist whether y'all consider her to be one or not I have a separate video about that I'm gonna prove it to you in a video so make sure y'all stay around for that say hi in the comment section if you haven't already click thumbs up if you haven't already and if you haven't already you're an idiot or you're busy and you can't touch your phone right now maybe your hands are wet maybe you you know I don't know maybe you're touching your WAP or something I don't know but now that people saw that Cardi B would get upset about something that somebody said on the internet the people who don't have a blog the people who don't have a YouTube channel the people who are just a regular comment commenters imagine what they're gonna say to her now just to get her go J just to get something going just to piss her off I told you before I made a video years ago about how when she was pregnant with culture <clears throat> people were saying that they didn't want culture to survive in her womb and I said that that's really messed up and that's how celebrities lose their mind saying ridiculous things like that so you can't say something like that to a pregnant woman I also made a video about John C. Hernandez people were saying the same thing about her when she was pregnant with Bonnie Bella and I pointed that out and I spoke out against it because I think that that's just that's extreme if Cardi B wanted to sue the person who said that crap to her I could understand that but in this particular case, in my opinion, this is a stupid lawsuit that will come back to buy Cardi. That's what I'm predicting. And I have never been wrong about Cardi before, except for once about so I can't remember what it was. But I'm typically right. If you if you guys pay attention, a lot of stuff I say is just, you know, just to make you laugh 
or just to be silly, just to have something to talk about. He's just messing around, just just cutting the shit. But when it comes to somebody like Cardi, I'm pretty much serious about her. And the reason why is because nobody was rooting harder for her than me. If you go back and you watch the old videos, we can take it back to 2015. You know, I'm not bullshitting. Nobody, when, when people weren't even talking, people, when people just knew her as the Instagram comedian and she wasn't even on YouTube yet like that, when people weren't talking about her like that, I was the first, I was the person who basically brought Cardi to YouTube, for the record, if y'all don't know. For those that don't remember, you must have forgot. Roy Jones Jr. voice. Anyways, I gotta go click the thumbs up button, subscribe, choose all notifications, say hi in the comment section if you haven't said it already. I had another secret, you can say the old secret password if you want, but I got one more. I got a new secret password. So let me know you made it all the way to the end of this video. The secret password to say in the comment section is the top, because Tasha K is gonna make a huge comeback. She's gonna be back on top starting this year. I'm going to be back on top starting this year. Cardi B is going to be back at the top of the charts starting this year. Hopefully, she'll put out that second album. Everybody's wondering what it sounds like. You know, I just want to see everybody do well. All right, y'all? I got to go, man. I, I, I got to go whack off to Cardi B.